the state had, up until a couple of years ago, two nuclear power plants running. And then in 2012, one of them closed down because it had a little bit of radioactive steam that leaked out of a particular part. And it turned out that the plant had just spent a whole lot of money on new equipment that was badly designed or just not working properly. And rather than go through the whole process of trying to keep it open and relicensing and all that, its owners decided to close it down. So that left us with just one plant, Diablo Canyon. And to give you a sense of how big the plant is in terms of its importance to the state, last year it was 9%, more than 9% of all the electricity that was generated within California's borders. So all of that coming out of this one plant. So it was a bit of a bombshell this spring when PG&E announced that rather than going for extending the licenses and keeping it open in another 20 years up until 2045, they were going to agree to close it down when its final license expires in 2025. And they say that they can do this and replace as much power from the plant that, as they need to replace with energy efficiency, solar, wind, and some energy storage. Still need to find out exactly how they plan to do that, but they have not quite a decade to do it. So it's, it's a huge change if it happens. Thank you.